Okay, the purpose of today's video is to explain and demonstrate how to back a boat down a boat ramp, something that gives a lot of uh, new boat owners some fits and challenges through the years. So the three most important par parts are the three P's, prayer, practice, and patience. Prayer is simple. Heavenly Father, pray in Jesus' name that you'd help me back the boat down the boat ramp quickly and safely without hitting anything and without endangering anybody. Practice is best served on days when there's not a whole lot of activity on the boat ramp. You can practice it several times when you're not under the time pressure of uh, other people waiting to launch the boat or being in a hurry to get to your fishing spot. Uh, so lots of days over the winter when boat ramps don't have a lot of activity, get out here and practice. I've also noticed that in addition to practicing backing at boat ramps, if you don't happen to live real close to a boat ramp, there are other large parking lots that are vacant at various times of the year. My sons and I often do driving practice and backing practice in a nearby college campus parking lot on weekends and holidays. There's a lot of room out there to practice backing up. Okay, and patience. It's key not to be in a hurry. Uh, because when you get in a hurry, you get nervous, and you make mistakes. So if there's a bunch of people in line trying to launch their boats, like right at the break of dawn, I just find a parking spot and I wait until there's more time and opportunity. All right, so some of the practical details, uh, launching a boat, backing it down the ramp, safely is you really want a straight shot, and you want it to be in the light, at least when you're first coming up the learning curve, uh, try not to do it in the dark if you don't have to, uh, and try and work out, find a boat ramp where you can get the car and the, and the boat trailer real straight and then just come straight back. And there's several reasons for that. But the main reason is so you can see both sides of the boat, both in your mirrors and when you turn around to observe uh, directly when you're backing. All right, let's talk about some more of these things in a minute. Okay, so now we're in the driver's seat talking about a few things. And one of the things I'll mention is that I don't find the little reverse camera useful at all for backing up a boat trailer. Uh, those are designed to really see what's happening in the few feet really close uh, to your back bumper. And they've got kind of a wide angle lens that doesn't really show you very much about what's happening behind the boat, which is really what you're more interested in when you're back in a boat. So you got the normal mirrors. Uh, this is just a normal rear view mirror. This is the right side mirror. And this is the left side mirror. And one of the things you'll notice is that when you're really going straight backwards, you can see the boat and the wheels and the, the uh, trailer lights on both sides. If you can only see the wheels and the trailer lights on one side but not the other, uh, you're not really going straight back. Another thing I'll mention I like to do when I'm back in a boat trailer is I like to turn the radio off and I like to have uh, windows open on both sides so that if uh, somebody needs to yell and catch my attention that I'm about to hear something, uh, I can hear them do that. Uh, the other thing I like to do, if you'll notice, is that right now the, uh, the back hatch is closed. I like to open it because opening it gives me a better view and I can see better and I can also hear better uh, what might be happening back there. All right, so now I've got the uh, rear hatch up and this is also a trick that can work well in a pickup truck. If you lower the tailgate, you can see a lot more than you can if the tailgate's up. So you just want as much vision as possible. And I'll stop, and when I'm stopped, I might check my mirrors left and right. But when I'm actually in motion backwards, uh, when I'm actually in motion backwards, I'm facing backwards. I am looking directly at the boat trailer and the trailer tires. And since it's a straight shot, there's not a whole lot of turning to do. Uh, turning is the tricky part of all this, and if you practice 
you'll get some practice doing that but really when it's time to play when it's time to actually launch the boat uh, I'm not trying not to turn any more than I have to when I'm going backwards get it straightened out in your forward manipulations and then back it up all right now one of the key things that I need to use my mirrors for is how far back do you go and most uh, trailers when you're backing up a boat they launch pretty well when you get the tire or the uh, little fender barely underwater and one of the things that I've learned with my boat trailer is that you see the trailer light back there if the trailer light gets underwater you've gone too far so you want the fender the water near the top of the fender and you want the trailer light still above the water now different boats different trailers have a little bit different sweet spot but that's where the sweet spot is for mine so now that the, it's in the right spot it's just a matter put the car in park double check put the car in park double check that the car is in park foot off the brake foot off the gas boats not gonna the whole vehicle not gonna roll back into the water it's not gonna roll forward we're in a good spot now we're done back in the trailer we can go ahead and launch the boat this is another perspective that I believe is important that I always like to have a visual look at before I launch the boat uh, simply making sure that there's no children or other obstructions on the boat ramp a lot of times if you just back it down you're, you're going kind of blind so I like to have a look at this perspective before I launch